Sure is, Trav, that's for sure. Absolutely. A bit different feeling today than what it was last Sunday, that's for sure. What, uh, what sparked the turnaround, do you think? Oh, I don't think what sparked it. I, you know, I was, I was pretty confident that we were going to win the game. Last week wasn't what I've been seeing since November, and, you know, we didn't have that confidence going into the game. Obviously, you know, you've got to have that confidence going into the game. Last week wasn't what I've been seeing since November, and, you know, it was disappointing. The blokes realised what the performance they put in last weekend wasn't where it needed to be. You know, they competed for times in that first half last week, but didn't put an 80 minute performance and paid the price. You know, tonight was a little bit different. We, we competed right to the end. There it is. You know, it sums up that we're heading in the right direction. You know, there's still a lot of work to be done. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, there will be another hiccup along the road somewhere, no doubt. Um, but we've got to enjoy tonight. The boys worked hard. That You know, 100% credit to those guys. They've, they've worked really well this week. And, you know, it hurt them last week. People don't realise that the result hurts the players as much as it hurts anyone else. And, you know, they'll feel it. It's been a long week. But we come tonight with a, a purpose to... Um, to not prove anyone wrong or prove it to anyone else that we can do that. Prove it to themselves. They believe in themselves that they can do that, and they, they did it tonight. But, you know, she's back on again next week. Yeah, he come on with that head knock there at one stage. And when it become a real defensive, you know, um, arm, arm wrestle there at that point, I just couldn't get him back into the game at that point. But, you know, he's obviously, you know, would like to have played more minutes, but he understands it's, it's a 17 man game. And, and the guys that were in there, even like Mitch Rain, didn't get a lot of minutes tonight either. But it was, you know, the guys that were out there at the moment were doing the job, and I just didn't feel like changing it at that point. Garth, you said in the pre-season you're going to play attractive, expansive, entertaining football. That philosophy you brought out there tonight, is that the way you're going to keep playing? Because a lot of off-the-cuff tries scored tonight. Yeah, yeah, they might look off the cuff, but they're not. You know, um, now we work hard on that all week, you know, and it's something that, the boys believe in and, and, and it's been working for us. You know, we got away from it at different times there. You know, we, we lost our way at different times in that game, which we need to be better at. Um, but I wouldn't say it was off-the-cuff sort of stuff. They, the boys know what they're doing. It's just they executed it really well at times tonight, but there are other times where they need to be better and, um, you know, and we'll get there. Was that a plan move, uh, Ryan, that uh, <laughs> 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 I just seen the winger was up, so I just thought, why not? I'm lucky Phil chased it, otherwise I would look like an idiot. Do you feel like there's a real turnaround in the mentality of the boys this week? Because obviously you're embarrassed some of your players. So you there was, and as Garth said, we had to prove like we're just proving it to ourselves. We know we're a good team, and um, we knew we had to come out and start fast night. We haven't started fast all year, and we come out and put two tries on them. And um, you know we've always been behind since in the first three games. So we come out, and we knew if we defended well and worked hard for each other, um, we'd work our way into the game. And I thought Ash Taylor was excellent tonight. He, Kicked us into a win, and you know Kane Elgy playing off the back of him as well. They both had a had a really good games. Kane had a great start to the game. Man. That could be the, the, the moment where he gets his mojo back. Is that what you're hoping? Is he had a great night. Yeah, no, he had a great night up here, and um, yeah, it's just good to see him playing with confidence, chucking that long ball. I smiled to myself when I seen him throw one at training the other day, and I thought of, sort of thought for you know he's back. So he threw a couple tonight, and they all they all pulled off, and uh, it's just great to see see him play good football. Yeah, Sorry, I missed that. How important is it that he is playing? That yeah, it's always important that your halves play good. But um, you know, I thought both halves were great tonight. Um, as I said, Ash did a lot of the a lot of the kicks that slowed the game down towards the end. And uh, as I said, he pretty much kicked us to a win. And you know, Elge started great, and Ash just directed us around the field. And when we broke down, they talked us to a spot, and then we put on the play because they were talking so well. And you expect that from your halves every week, and we have to expect that from our middles every other week as well. Philip Sammy, very dominant performance, Garth. Not only three tries, but he set up a great try for the Don. He thinks he's a kicker too now. Everyone thinks they're a kicker. Um, yeah, no, look, Sammy, I've been wrapped from, from day one when I got here. I was excited by the young guy when I, everything was doing at training. You know, he's a powerful thing. He carries the ball strong. He gets us on the front foot with his carries. You know, he's um, he's a real prospect going forward, that's for sure. You know, I'm really excited about how Sammy's tr tracking along, for sure. Do you think he's been one of your most consistent over the last couple of weeks, even has been a rocky start. Do you think he's been consistent? Yeah, he has. You know, there's, there's been a few. You know, I, I thought our middles really stood up tonight. You know, I, I, I criticised them, you know, publicly and privately last week, you know, on their performance last week. And, you know, they probably, you know, threw Ash and Kane, our edges under the bus a little bit last week with their performance. Tonight they stood up, there's no doubt about that. And hence the reason the, 
the edges had a bit more a bit more joy tonight. You know, I thought there were some fantastic performances tonight. I thought Dale Copley's performance on James Roberts was was enormous. You know, he was he was um, he did exactly what I wanted him to do tonight. You know, everyone knows the threat that James Roberts is, but Dale Copley was enormous on him tonight. He just gave him no room. Every time he got the ball, he was all over him. And you know, I say it every every week, but Jai Arrow keeps getting better and better every week too. Uh, does, does Bryce understand? what he needs to work on to actually make an impact in this team. You said he couldn't get him into the game because it turned into such a defensive mindset there. Yeah, he does. You know, he's, he's not a dummy, Bryce. There's no doubt about that. He knows where he needs to work on it. And I speak to him about that. And, look, it wasn't a case that, I, you know, I didn't... Um, it was just the way the game panned out there tonight. You know, I thought Will Matthews and, and Kevin Proctor were doing enormous great jobs on our edges with defensively. And, and it was just a case that I couldn't get him into the game how I would have liked to next weekend. He'll probably play a lot more minutes, you know. So, um, you know, he'll be disappointed that he didn't get as much game time as what he would have liked. But, you know, he, I said from day one, he's, he's a work in progress for us. If people understand he's only 23, he's, he's going to take some time. And, and um, you know, we're in no rush to get him where he's here. He's here for a couple of years. So, you know, I'm going to continue to work with him. Our staff will continue to work with him. And, look, I've got no hesitation. But no... No doubt whatsoever the Bryce will get to where I want him to get to. But tonight it was just a, a situation where I thought the boys that were out there were defending really well. I just didn't want to change the how the, 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 how the boys were working together. Ryan, what's it feel like to beat the Broncos here? <laughs> it's pretty good. I don't think I've beaten up here, so I've been playing nine years now and I haven't beaten them up here. So, um, yeah, we nearly got them last year. They beat us in the last minute and it was just, yeah, I'm pretty proud of the boys that we got to win up here.